And welcome back to The Morning Blend, where we want to know what's in your makeup bag with Merle Norman. Well, we're all guilty of using apps or filters to make pictures look a little softer. Speak so, for yourself. Yeah, right? I had somebody say the other day that they were getting filtered pictures of pets at a oh, vet. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> they say today, though, we're talking about a new product to give you that look that no technology skill is needed to I, look like a model. I like that. <laughs> Bring it on, right? Debbie Hackey is the studio owner at Merle Norman. She is here to introduce us to their soft focus finishing powder. That's I love we it. Want. We need yeah. it. Blur out those fine lines, yeah. baby. Yeah. Who needs a filter? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I like Fish. this idea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so this is the, the idea is that finish, right? And now that you can get that photo finish. Exactly. Exactly. You know how you see pictures of people and you're like, wow, their skin looks amazing. Yeah. They look so smooth and just poreless and it looks fabulous. Well, now you can get that look without a filter. Okay, so okay. what is it? What's the secret sauce? It is our soft focus finishing powder. We have two yeah, hold shades. that up. So is this, this is a very light, so is, it's a finishing powder. Yeah, yes. it's almost white. Like this is not like a tan, right. a taupey, you and know. And we do have two shades. We have a okay. light and then we have a medium. Yep. And they're virtually transparent. Okay. So the idea is to really not add color, but to blur those lines mm. and to give that soft focus look that you're walking around in a filter yeah. all the time. All the time. I love all it. So this is used over your liquids or whatever right. you, you use. You can put this over a liquid, a cream, a powder. It, it really is going to be the last thing that you're going to put on because that way you can just kind of set that makeup, set it and forget it. I like that. Yes. Fantastic. Um, so you, you, one of the things that you love about this new powder is, is the technology behind it. Mm -hmm. So it seems kind of right. simple, but we, we talked about technology with our phones and filters, but this makeup actually has technology exactly. to it. Exactly. And you know, not to get super technical, but it has a tri-microsphere technology, mm -hmm. which means that these spheres will help control shine, blur fine lines, set your makeup, and the most important thing, especially if you're in a wedding or you're anywhere where you're going to be getting pictures taken, it reflect, refracts light so that way you don't get that shiny look and yeah. it gives that very soft focus look. So really say hello to your new best friend yeah, because right. this is what everybody needs. <laughs> well, I like it because, uh, you know, as you're using something like that, it's not adding layers really, it's just finishing. And so you're not gonna feel, you know, we've all like brought a powder with us right. that's an actual right. foundation powder and try and use that throughout the, and by the end of the day, you're blotchy. And that's one of the things I hear. This is not your grandma's powder. Yeah. This is not going to be a, a, a heavier powder. It's not going to add coverage. It is just finishing off that look. So what do you use? Does it come with a, a sponge? It or actually how do you use it? comes with a very precise little fan brush. And there's four different... Uh, levels of the hair mm -hmm. on this brush. Oh. So that way you're going to get an even distribution. So, yeah. and it's stored right, oh, right under. The bottom. Yes. Hold that up okay. a little higher. There so you, you just. So you store it in here. Yes. This is where the, the fan brush and goes, is right this inside. So you can see it just yep. and pops right down. down. Yeah. And then you would just swipe it across and blend it. So really light. Yes. Now, I have to say, I like the little brush, but you know, I'm kind of clumsy, so I drop it a lot. Yeah. And so I actually prefer when I'm doing it at like home to use too. a bigger brush. Yeah, yeah. the professional brush. Plus you feel so fancy nice. when you use a big brush. I know, brush. Yeah. I know. There's just nothing like, hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's something glamorous. I like that. Yeah. Yes, yes. The right brush. Yeah, and you could have a couple brushes. You could take the fan brush to go. Yeah, and, your and if you're yes. home, then you can use and a bigger brush. And that's what I would do. Is nice. I would use that fan brush for when you have to do, you know, on the go, something quick. But if I was applying it at home, I definitely would use a nicer big brush. Now, in terms of the shade, because there's quite a difference mm. between the light right. and the, right. the medium. So is the light better for people who are fair skin and is the dark um, for people who have more pigment to well, their skin? Well, because these shades really don't provide a lot of color, mm -hmm. you'll find that even some fairer skins could use the darker one if they want just a little added amount of color. Gotcha. Okay. So they, they really are very sheer, very transparent. So those two shades are workable for 
any skin tone. Mm -hmm. So when you're using it, because I know oftentimes you take the makeup that you're wearing on your face and you bring it down and extend it onto your neck so you don't have, you know, two right. different tones going on. Yes. Yeah. Would you use a finishing powder like that on your neck as well or only on your face? I think it kind of depends on the occasion. Okay. If I was doing it myself for every day, I would just do my face. But okay. if I was doing it for a special occasion, once again, where I was going to be having a lot of photos taken, yeah. I would bring it, bring down, it down just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Um, people can check it out, right? Try it out at any oh, of your gosh. studio. Yes, and yes. see how it works for them, whether yes. they're doing over their Do liquid or face. cream or powder. Yeah, see the difference. Then we're going to make you leave. Yeah. No so it's going to look really good on one side. Yeah. yeah, I like that. But yeah, it's wonderful that people can try before yes. they buy. And I know you, you do consultations where you'll show people how right. to use it with different and brushes. I think that's so important because why buy something, get it home, and not know how to use it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or have the right, you know, making sure that you have the right color. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what's nice. And there are locations, a lot of different places, in Brookfield Square and in Hales Corners on Highway 100. That's between Grange and Edgerton. And also in Economwalk, they're located at Paps Farms and a, a shop in Historic historic downtown West Bend as well. MerleNorman.com is the website to visit for lots of good stuff like tutorials. Even. Yes, I yeah, love that's it. what we're here Thanks, for. Debbie. Great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you yes, so much. You too.